now joining us live in the studio to talk more about the first ever Cowboys game played in that $1.2 billion dream of a stadium <laughs> is Cowboys starting safety Ken Hamlin. Appreciate you taking the time, Ken. But no right off the bat, man, from your viewpoint, what do you think about the stadium? I mean, it's amazing. I think that, um, you know, it's definitely uh, bigger than what people expected. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the hype was definitely big, and um, it was exciting to get out there and actually get in there and get, get our feet wet a little bit. With that much hype, with that much attention going into this particular game, did it feel like a preseason game? Uh, well, it still did. I think that we still, you know, wanted to go out there and work on some things, you know, get some things accomplished. But at the same time, I mean, when you had the, the visiting team with their camcorders out, you know, recording, it, you know, yeah. the stadium and everything, you could tell that it was an exciting experience. And um, they knew that it was something big, you know, and uh, we did as well. Do you feel any added pressure? Um, and being in the NFL's largest stadium. Jerry, he's put a lot of money into it and a lot of time. Do you feel any added pressure to live up to this magnificent stadium? Well, Jerry's pockets are, are pretty deep. Um, so, um, you know, we know he can afford it. Uh, I put more pressure on myself than, than a, a stadium or, or anyone else can put on me. So um, I think that, you know, we have pressure on ourselves just to go out and perform. Um, away or home, um, this definitely gives us a, a big advantage at home, you know, with the type of fans we can put in there, um, the crowd noise, you know, it, it was definitely big with, with 75,000 there, I man, we can, we can go ahead and stack 100,000 there in one game, I mean, I think that, uh, you know, we're going to get a lot of false starts and a lot of, a lot of different things, whatever, you know, with our defense um, getting the crowd out. Well, defensively, let's talk about you guys' performance. I thought you guys looked a lot better, a lot more crisp. Your thoughts on defensively, the improvements you made from the first game to the second game. I mean, you guys held Lindell White and those guys to seven yards rush. I don't think you gave up a first down until late in the second quarter, yeah. held them to 10 points. Your thoughts on the defensive performance you guys had? I think we came out with a, with a, with a focus, um, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, defense, our first defense played a little bit more, but even when our reserve guys got in, I mean, like I told our DBs, you know, don't think. Just go out and play, like you, you know, like you played in college. You know, just go out and play. You know, there was a lot of things going on in the first game. You know, it was their first game out there, so you know they didn't want to make mistakes, which uh, normally it, that's when it occurs. So you know, for them to get out there, fly around, have fun, and it showed they had fun out there uh, the other night. And um, you know, hopefully we can keep that going. No doubt, no doubt. And you guys are just beginning. You guys start <laughs> practice over at Valley Ranch tomorrow after spending what three and a half weeks in San Antonio for training camp. Oh, yeah. Are you happy to be back, though? Definitely. I mean, I think that, um, <laughs> you know, San Antonio was good to us. You know, the, uh -huh. the fans out there were definitely great to us, I think. But, um, you know, it's good to be home. It's good to actually be able to sleep in your bed and, uh, you know, drive to work and, you know, and come back to your bed at night. So mm -hmm. um, it's going to be exciting. Uh, I think that, you know, we're definitely taking steps to be a better team. Now, from the media side, there was nothing soft about this particular training camp. I, mm -hmm. We didn't get a day off. I worked like 24, 25 days in a row. Nothing soft about this particular camp. Your thoughts on this camp and how it's different than some of the camps that the critics called Camp Cupcake. Well, hopefully you know, the media is satisfied with uh, <laughs> whatever happened at this training camp. Um, you know what, I, I wouldn't think that any of our camps were, were soft, um, were, were light or anything like that because, you know, um, the coaches d demand a lot out of us. Mm -hmm. As players, we demand a lot out of ourselves. And, um, you know, I think that we, we went about it the same way. but. Um, you know, we had a focus in this, this camp. We went out to handle business and um, come back come back home, you know, mm -hmm. a little bit better than we went in there. Um, as so they can take it however they want it. Uh, but, <laughs> you know, we're trying to get better as a team. That's what's up. Let's look, let's look forward to the season a little bit. And more, let's more so talk about the defensive secondary. Your sec success, a large part of it, depends on you being in unison with the rest of the members in, in the secondary. And it's kind of hard to do when there's a lot of injuries. As last season, there was a, it was like a revolving door as far as the injuries. How do you feel about your defensive secondary this year? I mean, we've seen a couple of little nicks and bruises, but overall, how, how, how confident are you in this secondary going into the season? Oh, definitely confident. Um, we have a lot of young guys that, that, that have a lot of speed and, um, and experience, you know, not just playing with this team, but just experience playing the positions. Um, you know, health is always going to be an issue, you know, guys staying healthy, but, um, you know, it's something I'm not, never going to make an excuse on. Uh, regardless of who's playing next to me or, you know, in the secondary with me, we got to go out and, and you know, we got to perform. And that's what I said last year. I'm going to say that this year as well is that, you know, hopefully we can all stay healthy, but 
things happen, you know, injuries happen, and um, you know, we're going to still go out and perform and try to try to put points on the board defensively as well as get our offense the ball back so they can put points on the board as well. Awesome, awesome. Now you got you've been busy on the football field, but you're getting it done away from the football field. Just yesterday, you did your part to help hundreds of kids around Dallas get ready for the school year. You partnered up with the YMCA yeah. of Dallas. Just tell us a little bit about what you had going on yesterday. It was a beautiful thing. Uh, it was great. I think that um, you know, for for me to be able to give back to some of the kids, help some of the parents out, mm -hmm. um, you know, getting their kids ready for school. Um, you know, I gave out book bags um, yesterday just to, you know, help out some of the kids and, and things they were trying to accomplish, you know, and hopefully they can get their school year out, started off right just like we can get our season started off right. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, to see the smiles on their faces, to get some of the thank yous from the parents and, uh, you know, just everyone coming together to make it a, a special event. It, it was great. Now, you, he's being modest. You guys had a lot more going on than just handing out book bags, haircuts. Yeah. Yeah. You guys were doing some a little dental work for the kids. You yeah. fed the kids. No doubt, a great time. Yeah, well, I got to thank everyone that, that helped put it together. I think, you know, Rick, my barber, uh, he brought some guys together. Um, you know, my whole, my whole crew, they, mm -hmm. they, they put it together and did a great job of just, you know, making it easy for me to be able to give back and, uh, you know, help, help people out. Awesome. Well, Ken, we're going to look forward to seeing you do some great things. We know Definitely. we've got the third preseason game of the uh, year coming up this upcoming Saturday against the 49ers, the dress rehearsal. Yeah. We're going to wish you well as uh, you go into that game. See if we can get 100000 out of this game, see how loud it can get. There you go. It's, go it's only getting bigger and better. Appreciate you taking <laughs> no, the time, no Ken. we got a lot more to talk about, including the Rangers starting to feel the playoff pressure a little bit. Still ahead on Inside Sports.